what does a Russian man knows about Irish people? Today we're gonna talk about it. And I will be honest with you, I don't know so big amount facts about Irish people. And why do I record this video? Because today will be my classes of uh, intercultural communication in my uh, university. And I will be talking about Ireland. Because we, our teacher, our lecturer said to us, uh, hey dudes, uh, today uh, he said like uh, one week ago that uh, after one week in one week you will tell us you will tell me about facts about different countries about Ireland or Spanish or maybe about uh, some Turkey countries or maybe Germany or France or something like this or UK or different countries and I have uh, chosen one country called Ireland and uh, I will uh, prepare the stock to <laughs> to my classes okay i hope you understand and uh, let's start it first of all uh, it will be like facts about intercultural communication you understand that in russia for example we have phenomenal thing with smiling it means that russian people are not mostly smiling and why is it happening because our language in the way like Я могу говорить вот так, и это звучит вот таким вот образом, и, и, and it sounds really monotone and really like low layering, slow, and it is kind of hard to speak this way with smiling, yes, and uh, it is, and English language, it is more higher pitched, and uh, you can speak this way, and uh, that's why you can smile, because it is kind of freely, and not this way, yes, I can speak this, hello, <laughs> yes, I hope you... Uh, I understand right now and uh, next guys uh, let's talk about Ireland in Ireland what I have learned maybe if you are Irish or maybe UK and you have seen Irish people then let me know in the comment section below it will be interesting to know and uh, what's your relationship to Ireland because I know that uh, some UK people I mean that in Ireland it is uh, something that they are in pubs and they want to fight with uh, UK next door uh, with UK man next door it is true is it true or not I don't know and it is uh, <laughs> interesting okay let's uh, talk about something international communicationable first sign of peace not this sign of peace it is uh, vul uh, vulgary really it is vulgary and in Russia it is uh, not vulgary yes you can see this and sometimes I even do photos with this sign and in America it is uh, not uh, vulgary too but in UK maybe in Ireland and other United Kingdom places maybe it is uh, offensive is it true not let me know next uh, what have I learned also it is uh, they are doing thinking of the bus driver because in Russia it is I prefer to say thank you even to the sweeper, sweeper, sweeper with a broom. I prefer to the cleaner who cleans uh, all the things around. Uh, I prefer to do this. And uh, in Russia, not so big amount of people say thank you to the to the workers. They're they're like uh, taking it for granted, and they are like, no, why should I say it? It is your work, and you are paid for it. I will not say you anything. But in Ireland it is interesting that uh, I have learned that they say thank you to the bus driver and it is nice. I'm a humanity man and uh, I'm uh, welcomed to all kind of people. And uh, I ca because I'm a writer and when you are a writer you understand all the types of motivation. And even yesterday I went to the store and I went to the key key store keys uh, you know key keys to open uh, the door and uh, i went to the store with uh, repairing keys duplicating them and uh, one dude t took from me uh, the key and said okay i will do this and uh, he said to me two or three words and Russia it is not super client oriented country in in province way in Moscow in St. Petersburg yes you will find it mostly but in our place you will not find it I believe that we can build it but right now we don't have it so much if we will focus on it but if we will focus on positive then we will find uh, people who are who are nice and kind to you 
it's all about attitude. But the average person thinks that uh, it is uh, not not uh, really client oriented Russia. And in Ireland it is a nice fact that you like to think someone, especially bus driver. Next, what I've learned it is a buy buy buy. They're they're doing buy buy or goodbye or farewelling for a while. It means that when you at party or something and you say bye to someone then uh, you are not actually saying bye you are preparing someone to say bye it means that you said bye and then you start talking about your dog and you start talking about your rent or maybe st start uh, communicating continuing and after 10 you uh, 10 minutes you say again bye and after five minutes you can say finally bye it is interesting it is uh, what i've learned in one uh, channel if you will google stereotypes about ireland and facts about ireland and communication about ireland it is where i found this information on youtube if you will google some girls two girls and one american who visited uh, ireland they are speaking these things also kind of english language it is different like on top of the money and uh, this uh, what charmy charmy buckets or what lucky lucky charms uh, <laughs> <it> is, <laughs> leprechauns yeah. and it is not it is uh, not true and uh, mostly ireland people what i've learned maybe they are not super into leprechaunian stuff yes they can make love at these things and they can speak about it but they are not like this super way that we think that they are all in the this green hatties and they're with the pants of green color and also with their jackets greeny and with this plant around they are not this way they are mostly with um, with a funny look, uh, with a funny look, uh, but uh, not this greeny and uh, leprechaunian and golden, uh, golden tubs, golden, golden uh, what's the cauldrons? Yes, it is uh, golden pots. Not, but uh, they like this culture, and uh, it is not a culture about breed and uh, the binge drinking. It is not about it. It is yes, you have a lot of pubs. But uh, yes, it is type of your culture. You have even the tower pub or something like the street in Dublin. Uh, but it is not the way like it is everywhere and you should drink. And uh, it is a traditional thing, but not like a super Jesus Christ. We are not li we living without the this. I think so. It's my opinion of the person who doesn't drink and uh, didn't even try to drink a beer at... <laughs> I did drink a beer. I haven't uh, had a beer for 32 year, 23 years of my life and I never drink, dr drunk a beer. Yes, I drank vodka and something else, but beer never. Never. Maybe even maybe in my childhood, like two, three, four years old, when I was kind of uh, unconscious, and uh, my father was doing it, but uh, not in the ages of 10 plus, okay? And so like seven plus eight, seven, eight plus, nope, N no one. And okay, next thing that I noticed it is uh, you are not going direct like Americans. You need to prepare for your talk, you need to ask for a weather. Yes, you are an Irish. I talk with you like you are an Irish. You need to ask about weather, about your dog, then ask about this, about that, about books, about maybe some, some uh, <laughs> what happened yesterday, what you ate on breakfast, and then you only start to speaking directly with uh, the things uh, that you want, like uh, where do you work, what do you do for a living, and uh, I mean that in more directly, like uh, you work there in this company or that, and uh, it is kind of prepared talk, and uh, I've noticed it also on... Uh, when I worked as a doorman in Otel, I remember some people from Ireland came to us, Irish people, there were not so big amount, so like uh, 10, 15, 16 different visitors, guests that arrived to our uh, 
to our hotel in Saint Petersburg, Russia, and uh, nor north city of Russia, and uh, some of them we were really like this way communicated uh, uh, they started to talk with me about what the weather okay how are you doing is everything good and then they started to ask me questions about where to go to the isaac cathedral and uh, the road to the to the nevsky avenue and uh, to the some of the uh, angliska embankment in uh, <laughs> in saint petersburg it is interesting and uh, Maybe it is. Maybe it is happening. If it's, if it is true, let me know. If it's not true, let me know too, because uh, I'm interested in. Because uh, people are uh, different, and I don't understand why do we have this type of this type of uh, how to say it, subject in our university? Because it is kind of really super individual we have seven billion people around yes we have some traditions but uh, everybody is unique super unique yes and okay next thing that i noticed it is uh, w what i was learning it is slagging slagging or sla slugging slagging slagging i think it is the way i one moment need to google how to co to say it correct slagging or slagging i googled it before Slugging. 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 Sl uh, sl uh, slugging. 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 This type of thing. Slugging. And uh, when you do slugging, it is not. Uh, it is not super. Uh, like for a any country, but for Ireland, slugging it means that offensive type of and rude, vulgar speaking with someone in a funny way. Yes, it is happening in Russia sometimes too, but uh, in uh, Ireland it is uh, so everywhere. And uh, it is kind of when you can joke to your uh, person, like you speak, uh, hey, you are a tall skyscraper, uh, what are you doing? Like uh, you, you call the name who, uh, who is uh, tall, it means that you love this uh, boy or girl, because uh, it is the way how you communicate. Or you say to the fat person, hey, you are a donut, come, come to me. And uh, <laughs> like this way, or maybe you look ugly today and uh, he uh, and this person person can uh, reply to you you are more uglier or maybe you can answer I know I'm ugly person it is interesting I like this way of talk because it is super in real world right now in 2021 it is super offensive when you can say one word and everybody will be angry to you about oh, feminism stuff oh Jesus it is uh, black color stuff oh Jesus it is a gay joke why do you do this it is that joke it is about humor you don't need to joke about it you need to joke about nothing and it is really what i prefer i like it it is maybe the only one way why i will go to the ireland because in russia it is again everybody is super like before i remember i remember when i was uh, at my school like uh, I was in a school 2015, 14, 13, 12, uh, 11, uh, 2010. I was at my school from 2004 to 2015. We were having communication with people and uh, it was a funny way of our speaking. Like we are school boys and we are doing, ha, ah, you are funny guy. And you can say like uh, words on uh, F words or B words or maybe... Uh, different mother mother factors uh, words to the dude and it means that you are kind of in a good relationship with this dude but right now it is kind of jesus everybody is angry you said this and someone says why are you speaking this way it is my things why you are why are you this talking and everybody lost this type of joking time they are not interested in ironic they are not interested in post ironic it is really jesus christ it is uh, the way how I prefer to communicate and it is interesting and uh, in current moment I don't communicate this way because I, I understand that I will make someone disappointed maybe and it is not really nice and uh, I think that it is funny to joke about cancer. <laughs> <laughs> really really it is funny and uh, the love it is the cure not the way of offensive when you are offensive uh, semantics means nothing i mean that semantics of speaking speech yes it means it means it means but in jokes 
Jesus, jokes are for fun and you create some words only to the to make fun and uh, you understand when person really angry and uh, when person really makes it uh, for fun. People are people forgot the line the border between when you are angry and you are saying offensive words and when you are funny and saying offensive words. And I like it uh, in uh, what I heard about Irish, that Irish like to slugging and it is amazing. That's why uh, maybe I want to move to Irish to at least to try it or maybe need to provide this culture in, in Russia. Okay, one moment. Uh, it is uh, what we talked. Uh, it is uh, we said thanks. Also, sign of peace. Also, thanks to the driver. I said this uh, about communication with. Uh, oh, also, I remember how I sang this song for our visitors from Ireland in my hotel when I worked I sang a song Karabelniki it is oi palna palna moya karobushka this type of songs and uh, it was a good thing for them and they sang to me one song of their Irish pop song also what I learned about business things uh, that in Ireland uh, there are a lot of uh, singing uh, there, there are a lot of pubs and business uh, conferences and uh, I mean business meetings sometimes happen inside of the bars and pubs it's what I learned and also it is not really polite to be like nope 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 not for me for a drink when you are inside of the pub when someone says to you that uh, I will uh, I will kind of it is my gift that for you and it's kind of unpolite to say nope because we are we are already inside of the pub also i i heard something about rounds but i didn't understand what is it let me know in the comment section below what is it if you know it okay let's check my phone what's more i learned also they are mostly like like uk people they are not uh, super uh, connected to you in a way of touching they are not connected to you in a way of uh, distance they are uh, distance people in russia we have something like distance too but in the uk it is uh, we know as russians that uk people are mostly unconnected distancing they are not like unconnected but they like to or they prefer distance not the not the way of latin people who are after two seconds already they are prepared to have a sex with you and uh, they are like touching you already and uh, taking hey dudes hey come on yes and ireland people uh, irish people what i learned on the internet i based on this not like on my own opinion because i have never ever been there and uh, that irish people that are they are mostly on uh, on distance like uk people and uh, one moment something with camera i think that this horizontal line one moment i think this way it will be much more better okay next uh, about uh, about eye contact what I learned on internet, it's only the facts that I learned. It is uh, eye contact. They are doing Irish people eye contact and uh, when you don't do uh, eye contact that uh, it means you are disrespecting someone. Is it true or not? I don't know. But uh, I remember how I was... Uh, I was communicating with Irish people in Russia and they are like staring at you when you speak. Maybe because I have all sources of information in, in, uh, in how to say it, uh, in, uh, in Russia, in St. Petersburg, because they, are, they were watching, they were interested in my uh, way of communication. Or it is really true about Irish people that uh, they prefer this way of communication. Okay, also you have... Ireland and North Ireland. North Ireland is for uh, this, how to say it, you know, for UK. And also it is funny way of speaking. Sometimes you have accents, different accents of Ireland. You can say F word like feck and <laughs> it's funny. And uh, also men open doors to a woman. It is in Russia too, but mostly right now nope. And uh, because of uh, feminist stuff, women are like, nope, no, open the door to me, you are a uh, feck, nope. Okay, and also I learned, is it true or not, two facts. 
Uh, two facts about this thing. First, you eat a lot of potatoes, fast carbs and a lot of bread. Maybe it is true. Bread, potato, fast carbs. And everybody has this type of products in your in your possibilities of your, in your country. Like inside of the home you have this bread, potatoes and also... What potatoes? Potatoes! <laughs> like <laughs> Gollum <laughs> from Lord of the Rings. And uh, also the last fact. Is it true or not? Let me know. I was interested in, maybe I didn't understand it, maybe it is incorrect, that this finger it is one and this finger it is five. Using thumb as as five. One moment, need to Google. Five thumb. One moment, five thumb. Five finger death. Da, 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 da. Triple f thumb. One moment. Thumb means five. Why it is Trump? <laughs> five means Trump. Okay, thumb means five. Thumb refers to the first digit to the human hand. Thumb five. The act of slapping your thumb with another person's thumb discreetly in order to avoid the embarrassing looks like I don't know. I don't know. Okay, maybe it's not truthful, but I found th this somewhere. Let me know if it is true. And also one interesting fact, maybe it is uh, for you interesting, maybe not. I learned that you show direction with your head and you also nod. And uh, in the saying of uh, someone hello and also wave. You can wave to someone, you can wave to someone on the street and it is a polite way even for a stranger to do waving because it is a kind of uh, openness. It is distance openness. Like when you wave to someone, girl and or a man, you are a man and you are waving to a girl, it means that you are, you should wave back because it is kind of a polite way. Is it true or not? Let me know. It is really interesting because I like, I prefer then, therefore I will go to the Irish and we will, I will do this all the time when I, uh, at, <laughs> on the streets. And also you nod as a hello uh, and if you are sitting at a bar and you are watching someone also nodding means uh, when you are sitting at a bar and you are you want someone more more pinned and uh, also ta -ta 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 -ta, what's more and you are showing direction with your chin and head not fingers in Russia we don't show with fingers too we show with at least I uh, at least I show with uh, direction with my uh, palm like this way there there and they are watching this maybe it is true maybe not and uh, okay it is like in india you are while you speaking you are doing this type of shaking it is uh, the way how they communicate i heard this on gabriel iglesias podcast okay thank you a lot for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it if you are from ireland let me know if you are not from ireland let me know too what country are you from UK. Maybe I need to, I should learn more about UK because I know many facts about America. Not so big amount, but a, a, a bit. And uh, I can't learn facts about the places like stories and retell them. Need to visit it and then I will understand it better. Because uh, through visiting we can learn. Not like from internet from someone's story because it is someone's perspective. All what we can learn by our own it is uh, some of the science facts. Science facts it is something that it is yes it is true it is yes yes yes. But about this thing th theory of communication of interculture Jesus Christ it's so subjective I think so maybe maybe not. Let me know what I've said is it true or not. See you next time. Be cool and also professor Dele. Bye bye. See ya.